know it's getting that time of year where the weather is cold and people are getting colds and sick. I wanted to bring to you something that's um, from my hometown um, as far as uh, my home state. It's a uh, chicken corn soup, but I'm going to add a little um, my version to it, adding like we're going to add some corn, we're going to add um, along with egg, we're going to add also um, carrots and celery into this soup. Uh, it's going to come out great. What I'm doing here is making a soup form a broth. So I'm going to add a little over three tablespoons of salt. I know it sounds like a lot, but remember we're making our broth from um, scratch. Um, so if you want to use a stock and you might want to use probably like maybe a teaspoon and a half maybe to, uh, but I'm going to make my own broth here. We're going to add pepper and I have this on a very low heat unfortunately um, we can't watch it the four hours or five hours I'm going to have it on to um, form a cook for my um can't talk here. I had a long day at work. Um, but I definitely wanted to do this soup for you guys. I feel like it's time time of year where people are getting sick. But what I wanted to do is form its own um, flavor off of the chicken. And you really don't need to add much seasoning to this because later on we are going to add parsley to it. We're going to add egg noodles. I promise you this soup is a kicker if you ever get sick. Um, this is one of the soups that will be in my um, it will be in my cookbook. I'm using some chicken bouillon. I use two packs of that, and this is one of the times we're going to use canned corn with the juice. Canned corn juice is really gives off a good flavor in this type of soup. So right now we're just forming the chicken broth. Um, and you just want to cook this. If this is something you want to do overnight, because that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's 12.31, so I'm going to get up around 6.30. Um, then have my carrots ready, my uh, along with the celery. I'm going to add that in there and let it cook a little longer. But I'm cooking this on a very, very low heat. I'm going to put my lid on here. If you want to use a crock pot, you can add all the um, ingredients that's going to be listed below uh, as far as um, into that crock pot along with you're welcome to use. I use four chicken legs because I like the, there's something about making soup with the bone, you know, that's something to show you kind of, you can almost see like the, the texture of the broth forming and this is just going to cook very slow. I promise you'll write a comment later thanking me. You can cut up, um, if you want to use a chicken breast, I would advise you to cut them up into like uh, square blocks, maybe about a little under a half an inch um, thick or long, and then just put them right in and boil them and slowly heat. All right, so we'll come back. Um, this, is a two, this is not going to be a two-part video for you, but it's going to be a two-part for me as I go to make my soup. You can add potatoes, you can add stream beans, frozen vegetables, two vegetables, whatever you want to add in, you can make this your own. I'm going to show you what my basics that I'm going to add in it just to kind of create, again, its own flavor and broth. So again, we will be coming back here. Please check me out on my um, chefmcfadden.com website. I'm looking forward to getting that up and running um, fully once my book is out and launched. Alright, so I'll be back um, once we get the broth and I'll let you look at it. And then we'll add the carrots and celery. Okay, I wanted you to see the broth. This has been cooking for about four to uh, five hours. Look how natural that broth is without adding um, chicken stock. You're welcome to add chicken stock. There's really no reason to um, when you cook it overnight and make its own broth. I'm going to add my carrots in. And let this cook for about another hour and a half. This is about a six hour soup. And I know it sounds long, but if you make it overnight on a low um, heat, I'm adding a can of corn, undrained. I'm going to let this cook. Just look at this. 
this is going to cook and then we'll come back we'll add our egg noodles and then we're also going to add in um, about uh, maybe two eggs all right so I'll come back to you with um, the final product I wanted to show you the final product of the soup adding parsley along with carrots I also added celery corn and two hard-boiled eggs uh, cut up Kind of give you a final, and I'll be plating this for you tonight. But look at all that nice shredded chicken. All right, this is called my version of chicken corn soup with carrots and celery and parsley. Good when you're cold or good when you're sick. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please look me up on ChefMcFadden.com or check me out on Easy Cooking with a Passion on Facebook.com. I'll see you next Wednesday.